decided to become a coach. Like I knew this was my life passion and that this is what I was going to do. And I just want to highlight it was not that clean. Like when I started coaching, it was the result of a very iterative process. So the, what actually happened was startup that I told you about, there was a rocket ship that sold to universities and recruiting and tanks during the downturn, joined that company in 2006. I joined as their director of product. By 2008, when the downturn hit, I was their VP of operations. And by spring of 20, 2009, I became their CEO. And I was the CEO of that company during its downfall, which was extremely challenging. I don't recommend anybody who is not a founder taking over as the CEO of somebody else's startup. Make sure you restructure that cap table. That's my tip there. In this case, it wouldn't have mattered because the cap table didn't matter. It was super stressful. It's the hardest thing I ever did. And it made me really question, is this what I want to be doing with my life? Do I want to be working in startups? Do I want to be an executive? And the answer was clearly no. So I knew what I didn't want to do, but I didn't know what I did want to do was not lucky in my Silicon Valley startup career. I did not have a giant exit. I was not financially independent. And when I made the decision that this is not what I want to do, I needed income. I was so burnt out after five years at that startup that I was not physically able to get a job. So what I did to have income was I did research projects for startups. They hired me to do user research for them. I was very uncomfortable. After two or three engagements, I was really uncomfortable with it. The reason why I was uncomfortable with it was because I was not leaving that company better off. Nobody in that company was learning how to do user research. That user research was going to be out of date very quickly. And it really made me uncomfortable. And so I iterated into, I will do this research for you, but you need to send your team along so that I can teach them how to do it themselves. And then that's what led to my coaching. And then I very iteratively moved into discovery coaching as opposed to general coaching team coaching as opposed to individual coaching. So I didn't wake up one day and have this fully baked idea. It was very iterative. And I think it's important to share that because too many people, oh, I just knew this was my purpose. That was not the case. So I want to highlight that. I appreciate the honesty. And, and also the lesson, right, is I think a lot of people get disillusioned by the whole corporate ladder thing and realizing like what you value and how you want to and what you like you want to suffer for. Uh, that's like the first step to getting on like a different path that's going to lead to a more fulfilling career. And it looks like you've obviously done that. So Teresa, thank you so much for sticking to it and continuing to develop the ideas. It's definitely made a lot of people's lives easier in the product space. Oh. Uh, one thing I'll just add is for folks that want to learn more about my work, I do blog at producttalk.org. Yeah. Book is Continuous Discovery Habits. Also have a community for people that are trying to put the habits into practice. You can learn about that also at producttalk.org. And then we have a number of online courses that are designed to get you hands-on practice and to help you build each of the habits. Again, also at producttalk.org. Yeah, so definitely the books like a, is a great starting point and I'm definitely considering uh, the courses myself. I'm a big course guy. And so, yeah, go to Product Talk. Also, it's just like bonus chapters of the book. I just read like your assumption testing new chapter like you could, it's it's an article sure i'm yeah. using air quotes for people listening and i'm like okay cool this is like an expanded edition of the book i go there you're going to get all the bonus stuff and i cannot uh, repeat this enough like continuous discovery habits like i wish every product team worked that way yeah me too more than anything Working on it <laughs> yeah hey Teresa, you have a good one thanks yeah, for coming thanks on. for having me this was fun Hey listener, thanks again for listening to The Way of Product. 